Hey guys and welcome to this uh, instructional video on how to use IRLP. If you don't know it already, IRLP stands for Internet Radio Linking Project and IRLP can be used to go from your local repeater to any other IRLP um, node or repeater in the world. So, um, basically just to give you an example, I could key up a repeater here locally in town and um, I could connect to uh, another repeater worldwide if I wanted to. Um, pretty simple stuff. So um, it's pretty simple to use, but I never see any how-to videos on YouTube on exactly how to use this. Um, keep in mind, this is um, kind of the default tones that are used for IRLP over most repeaters, but um, some clubs that run repeaters and whatnot, they require that you give a donation before they give you all the access tones to use their IRLP and whatnot. Um, but luckily, I, we have some local guys here that let us use their IRLP um, without charge. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing I want you to do um, is I want you to pull out your radio and go ahead and turn it on. Hopefully you have it programmed um, with a local repeater that has IRLP enabled on it. Um, as you can see, I don't have my antenna hooked up on here. I'm actually hooked up um, outside to my J-Pole. Um, I think I paid about 35 40 bucks for it. It's made by a gentleman named Michael Martins out of, um, I believe he's in Wisconsin, if I remember correctly. And his call sign is KB9VBR. And his website is jpole-antenna.com. Very simple way to get yourself a nice antenna for the house without breaking the bank. And then also you should be able to hit repeaters about 30 miles to 40 miles away um, like I am. So the first thing you want to do is you got to kind of know where you want to go. You may have a buddy already that has an IRLP in his area um, and he can give you the node number or you may have to look it up online to kind of see where you want to go. So I've already used this app right here called IRLP Finder and there's a gentleman um, his call sign is VK3CRG and he made a cool video um, about his IRLP node and whatnot. So, um, and it's done very well and I've used it before to talk on it and it was pretty damn clear. Um, his node number is 6789 and um, he's over there in Lara, Australia. So it should be about daytime over there right now if, if I'm thinking correctly. It should probably maybe even be early morning over there. So, um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to try to contact that node and that's 6789. So just go ahead and write down whatever node you want to go to. Um, just make sure it's IRLP enabled. So now that I've got that information, I'm going to go ahead and pick up my radio here. And this is just a Kenwood TH um, D72A. A lot of handhelds work the same way. Um, you need to know how to enter DTMF tones on your handheld. Usually you just push the push to talk button and you type in the tones. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a call out and let everybody know that we want to use the repeater. Just listen for a minute, make sure nobody's using the traffic there. So I'm going to go ahead and call out and uh, make sure nobody's um, on the channel. KF7ZKF, wanting to use the IRLP. So I'll just wait and see if I get a call back. And I've already been listening to the channel for another minute or so, so I know nobody's on it. So at this point in time, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hold the push to talk button and I'm going to push seven and three and I'm going to release. And what that'll do is that'll release the IRLP node if it's hooked up to a reflector or if it's hooked up to another IRLP node right now still and somebody forgot to turn it off, um, whatever the case may be. So now that I press the 73 in the DTMF and uh, nothing came back that tells me that um, there's no other reflectors or no other nodes currently hooked up. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and type in the node number of where we want to go. So I'm just going to re-verify that. And that was 6789. So I'm going to go ahead and hold my push to talk. And I'm going to type in 6789. So that's all it takes. 
um, just enter the four digit code and you should get a message that says you know link connected or welcome to the the node um, depending on how, how they set up but you'll get some kind of notification letting you know that the link is now connected so once that's connected you can then go forth and call CQ 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 um, after listening for a minute make sure you're not going to interrupt anybody's conversation so when you're done using the IRLP you don't want to just turn off your radio and just be done with it um, you want to make sure to disconnect the link um, so it's not sitting there using up the internet bandwidth and whatnot and it's not leaving the link connected um, you want to be courteous about it and you want to disconnect the link so usually you'll call out with your call sign and um, let everybody know that you're disconnecting the link KF7 ZKF CQ 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 so we'll go ahead and try to make a contact out there in Australia real quick. So I'm not hearing nothing back. Typically that's the way it'll be, um, is you won't hear anything back from anybody out in that area unless they're tuned into that repeater. Um, I don't have a time zone clock on me right now, so I can't be sure about the time zone, but I have been successful in making contacts out there in Australia, Canada, I've made a few, um, Hawaii, um, and I'm pretty fairly new to this stuff as well. So, so when you're done using the link, you're just going to go ahead and you're just going to go ahead and, uh, make your call out and let them know you're closing the link. KF7 ZKF closing the IRLP link. And then what you're going to do is you're going to hold the push to talk one more time and you're going to enter seven, three. At that point in time, the link is clear, and um, you can move on to another node if you wish. Um, just make sure to call out with your call sign and let everybody know that you're going to be using tones. Um, this could work the same way with a mobile radio as well, um, where you just push the push to talk and you press the tones. Um, I believe on the ICOM radios, they make you press the DTMF button before you use it. Um, it just depends on the radio that you're using at the time. And then keep in mind there is like speed dial memories for these as well. Um, but that's a basic tutorial on how to use IRLP. And uh, once again, remember that um, not all repeaters that have IRLP in your area may be available for you to use if you know they require certain other access tones um, to use. But keep in mind 73 is the disconnect tone. And then you put your four digit code in um, after making that transmission to go where you want to go and then 73 once again to disconnect and it's as simple as that any questions feel free to drop it in the comments